Let's see how to evaluate this integral. As you may already know, we have to first find the partial fractions of this given rational function. To find partial fractions, we can write 4x plus 3 over x minus 3, x minus 2, x plus 1 as a over x minus 3 plus b over x minus 2 and plus c over x plus 1. Our task is to find a, b, and c, and afterwards we can do the integration. Traditionally, people multiply this identity both sides by the common denominator. And then you can either substitute values for x or you can compare the coefficients. But today I'm going to introduce you a real fast technique which will save plenty of your time, especially in an exam environment. Let's say first we need to find a. You look at the denominator associated with that constant, which is x minus 3. x minus 3 will be equal to 0 if x is equal to 3. So, what we are going to do next is look at the left hand side. All of this. Now, we are going to close down the denominator associated with a, which is x minus 3. I'm going to close down this term. And then I'm going to replace 3 which is the value of x where the denominator associated with a is equal to 0, which means x minus 3 is equal to 0 when x is equal to 3. We are going to substitute 3 in the rest of this equation on the left-hand side. On the numerator, I have 4x plus 3. If x is equal to 3, it's going to be equal to 4 times 3 is 12 plus 3 is 15. In the bottom, I have x minus 2 times x plus 1 x minus 2 when x is equal to 3 is equal to 1. x plus 1 when x is equal to 3 that will be equal to 3 plus 1 which is a 4. So this simplifies to 15 over 1 times 4 is a 4. Therefore your a equals 15 over 4. The same way we can find b. The denominator associated with b is x minus 2. We are going to close down that term on the left hand side. So this term is now closed. Now we have to replace the x value so that the denominator of b is going to be equal to 0. Denominator of b, which is x minus 2, will be equal to 0 if x is equal to 2. So when you put 2 in the rest of this equation on the left hand side, from the numerator I have 4x plus 3. When x is equal to 2, it's going to be 8 plus 3, which is 11 on the numerator, divided by x minus 3 times x plus 1. When x is equal to 2, x minus 3 becomes negative 1. x plus 1, when x is equal to 2, that term becomes 2 plus 1, which is a 3. Therefore, b should be equal to negative 11 over 3. b equals negative 11 over 3. The same way, we are going to next find c. The denominator associated with c is equal to x plus 1. It will be equal to 0 when x is equal to negative 1. Close down that term from the left hand side. Substitute negative 1 in the rest of this equation on the left hand side. When x is equal to negative 1, the numerator 4x plus 3 will be equal to negative 4 plus 3 which is a negative 1. In the denominator when x is equal to negative 1, x minus 3 is equal to negative 4. The other term is x minus 2. When x is equal to negative 1, that term becomes negative 3. If you simplify that, you get negative 1 over 12. Therefore, your c equals negative 1 over 12. All right, now we can evaluate this integral. So, integration 4x plus 3 over x minus 3, x minus 2, x plus 1 dx. That should now be equal to a, which is 15 over 4, which I can write outside 1 over x minus 3 dx. And then b, which is negative 11 over 3, integral 1 over x minus 2 dx. And c, which is negative 1 over 12. Negative 1 over 12, integral 1 over x plus 1 dx. Alright, now how do you evaluate these integrals on the right hand side? We know 
integral f prime x over f x dx where f prime x is the first derivative of f x which is a function in the denominator in that case this integral will be equal to natural logarithm absolute sign f of x we are going to use this property in evaluating all of these integrals on the right hand side if you look at each of those terms look at the first term that is integral 1 over x minus 3 so if you look at x minus 3 as fx we have the first derivative of that which is 1 on the numerator and same with the second term your f of x is x minus 2 which is the term in the denominator if you differentiate x minus 2 you get 1 and we can see that on the numerator the third term is also similar you have x plus 1 in the denominator if you differentiate that you get 1 on the numerator so we can use this theorem and immediately evaluate this integral quite easily so our answer for this integral should be we have 15 over 4 ln natural logarithm absolute signs x minus 3 minus 11 over 3 natural logarithm absolute signs x minus 2 minus 1 twelfth natural logarithm absolute signs x plus 1 and of course there will be a plus c all right that's how that question can be answered efficiently i hope you enjoyed this video thanks